Well, Sunday marks 40 years since the mysterious disappearance of young Joanne Ratcliffe and Kirsty Gordon from a football match at Adelaide Oval. Joanne's sister has made an emotional plea for help to solve one of the nation's most haunting cold cases. Susie Wilkinson never got the chance to meet her sister Joanne, a pain she lives with every day. 40 years of not being able to kiss and cuddle our beloved sissy. Not being able to watch her grow up. It's not fair. 11-year-old Joanne Radcliffe and 4-year-old Kirsty Gordon vanished from Adelaide Oval on the 25th of August 1973. Witnesses reported seeing them with a strange man at the time. Exactly who that was and what happened to them remains a mystery. My dad passed away eight years after Joanne disappeared and to, to the very day he died he'd never gave up hope. Major crime detectives have followed 2,000 lines of inquiry over the past 40 years. There's been numerous searches, including one in the state's mid-north in 1999 and another near Middleton in 2006, with new information given to police as recently as this year. There's been quite a number of people identified as persons of interest over the years, and um, some of those leads have looked promising, but unfortunately most of those have petered out. Susie's vowed to never give up and hopes to one day lay both girls to rest. Just find it within yourself to give us back our girls. That's all I ask. And Eddie Godfrey joins us now live outside Adelaide Oval. Eddie, do police hold any real hope of solving this cold case? Well, Kate, obviously a lot's happened since that day here at Adelaide Oval 40 years ago, but police insist someone out there must know what happened or who's responsible for the girls' disappearance. A $200,000 award for information remains on offer, but police say by this point it shouldn't be about money. Joanne's sister says the family no longer cares about who took the girls, they just want some closure and to finally farewell them both the way they deserve.